So there's been one thing we've been dying to do ever since we started doing these explainy videos on YouTube. Wait, explainy? I like the word. Anyway, today we present Badass Chicks, Chicks of History. History. Let's start with a princess. No, a warrior princess. Nope, a Mongolian warrior princess who swooped down like a hawk upon her enemies in battle. Her name was Kutu Yun and she lived in the 13th century. She was a niece of Kublai Khan who founded the Yuan Dynasty in China. But her father Kaidu, who ruled over much of Central Asia, didn't really get along with Kublai Khan, so they spent a lot of time at war. Now, it wasn't unheard of for a Mongolian woman to ride into battle since Mongolians fought on horseback using bows and arrows, but Kutu Yun was something else. So she had this famous move where she would suddenly dart into the enemy ranks, grab a guy off his horse, and ride back with her captive. It was so impressive that Marco Polo immortalized it in writing, comparing Kutuyun to a hawk pouncing on a bird. So for the Mongolians, athletic ability was prized, almost spiritual, so having the hawk-swooping princess on their side was a pretty big morale boost for the troops. And Kutuyun wasn't just an impressive warrior, horsewoman, and archer, she was also an amazing, undefeated wrestler. And Mongolian wrestling is no joke. Two people lock arms with each other and try to push each other to the ground any way possible. Kuturin was so good, she said that any man who wanted to marry her had to wrestle against her. If he won, she would marry him. If she won, he had to give her a hundred horses. So 10,000 horses later, she was still unmarried. But people being what they are, Kaidu's enemies started to spread rumors about why Kuturin was still unmarried, accusing her of having an incestuous relationship with her father. So Kuturin decided to marry. She chose one of her father's followers and married him without making him wrestle her. She remained her father's strong supporter and trusted advisor until his death. There were even accounts that her father wanted to name her the next Khan, but was unable to for political reasons. AKA, they couldn't have a woman in charge. Kuturin isn't well known in the West, but you may have heard of her by the name Turando. Her story was adapted by a French writer who turned her into a proud princess who spurned her suitors. And instead of wrestling her, her suitors had to answer riddles or lose their heads. Le but it wasn't all bad. Turando was most famously turned into an opera by Puccini. And if we didn't have Turando, we wouldn't have Nessun Dorma, probably the most famous opera aria of all time. And although Kuchin's story changed in the West, her legacy lives on in Mongolia. Every time Mongolian wrestlers win a match, they honor Kuchin, the undefeated wrestler princess. Hold my glasses. Thanks for watching, guys! If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel for more interesting and weird, quirky videos. <laughs> <laughs> and, if you, and if you like what you see here, you can follow us on Twitter or like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching! <laughs> Ow.